Hey there, I'm so glad you're here. It's Laura from Monkey Mom. Today we are diving into one of our absolute favorite homeschooling curriculum choices, Bookshark. I can't wait to share our journey with Bookshark, why it's been such a game changer for us and why I think it's totally worth the investment. But before we dive in, this video is part of a full blog post you will find linked in the description. So if you want more details, please check it out. Now I want to start with full transparency. I hesitated to try Bookshark for years and I'm guessing the reasons I had are pretty much what all homeschool moms feel after checking out their website. I was worried about flexibility, the price and the workload. Needless to say, I shouldn't have worried about it because it kept us away from this amazing curriculum until middle school years. So let's start by talking about my fears one by one and how Bookshark really is once you start using it. One of my biggest fears was that Bookshark might not be flexible enough for our homeschooling style. Surprisingly, it's been incredibly adaptable. We follow the weekly plan, but we also do things our way. We've skipped and replaced elements, and we read at our own pace. I let my son read the readers in his free time during the day, and I read from the read-alouds in the night before he goes to sleep. This worked wonders in reducing our school time. I was also scared we wouldn't like how much this feels feels like a boxed curriculum, but it's not at all like that because of the well laid out guides. Another thing that held me back, and I'm guessing it's keeping a lot of you back as well, was the price. I kept looking at those amazing book selections, but I feared it will break the bank. So I was just ordering a few of the readers each year. But here's the twist, buying all those books separately was actually more expensive. Plus, I didn't have a guide to tie them all together. So no real curriculum, just some books to read. Now that we've taken the plunge, we absolutely love it. And I think it's worth every penny. Plus, they have payment plans now. The fear of too much work was also on my mind. I thought we would never be able to go through such a volume of work, but thanks to Bookshark's instructor guide, there's no pressure. The days are well balanced with shorter and longer tasks. It means we don't have to tackle the same amount of work every day, which is great. So what do we like about Bookshark that makes it worth it for us? There are several things I love about this curriculum, starting with the top-notch quality. Literature and History Instructor Guides We have used the Bookshark History and Language Arts so far, and these are their instructor guides for level G, which we are using for 7th grade this year. I didn't test their science yet, so my opinions are around their history and language arts. One thing I love about their curriculum is that there is no fixed age. They have a suggested age range, which makes it perfect for use with multiple kids across multiple grades. For example, level G is for kids between 11 and 13. And I know a lot of parents wonder if you can do this curriculum without the instructor's guide. In my opinion, you can't. I feel the instructor's guides make the whole curriculum come together. For the language arts, you even have student worksheets included in the guide. So the essence of Bookshark is in its instructor's guides. Without them, you just have a bunch of good books to read. The guides have it all, a suggested four-day schedule, the books split up for easy reading, comprehension questions, notes, vocabulary, answers for every question, and other sections that come in handy. I am in love with the quality and the setup of it all. Bookshark is a literature-based curriculum, so the book selection is another important element of the curriculum. I feel Bookshark has done a wonderful job at choosing amazing books and we enjoyed reading everything so far, even if we have some books we liked more than others. Bookshark's literature selections have been a game changer for us. These books introduced us to high quality literature, diverse cultures, ideas, and time periods. Initially, we planned to use Hewitt Lightning Literature for our literature and language arts, 
However, once we started working with the books and reading the suggested materials, we found it wasn't a good fit for us, so we had to drop Hewitt. Our quest for a more enriching literature experience led us to Bookshark. What's great is that we were already using Bookshark for history, so adding their language arts component was a natural choice. The books chosen by Bookshark are much more appropriate for my son and offer a wider variety. Some of our standout reads so far this year have been The Golden Goblet, Mara Daughter of the Nile, Black Horses for the King, Terrace and His Town, and The Silver Branch. These books took us on a captivating journey through ancient times in Egypt, Roman Britain, Athens, and Sparta. Learning history in context through these books has been amazing and I have seen so much growth. Since using Bookshark, I've noticed remarkable improvements in my son's vocabulary and his ability to express himself in writing. He also remembers more historical information because now his interest is genuinely piqued by the adventurous books he's reading. I blame it all on the great literature he's been exposed to. One more thing we adore is the history component. Aside the literature and instructor guide, there are also some history books that we use as spines. Last year we had the journey to the eastern hemisphere as a spine. This year it's story of the world volumes 1 and 2 plus the Kingfisher encyclopedia. These books are fantastic for building a timeline as we journey through history. And speaking of timelines, I have to tell you about the hands-on fun. I love how Bookshark incorporates hands-on learning with their included timeline book and timeline stickers. A note here, we're using the timeline from Homeschool in the Woods along with their stickers. I did a separate video on her timelines linked below. She is the one who designed Bookshark stickers, but we opted to buy her big package of stickers to have for all time periods for history, literature, science, and more. I will add the link to the pack we are using in the description. We use this instead of the timeline provided by Bookshark because I bought her essential pack of timeline figures before we started working from Bookshark and I wanted all our timelines in one place. We love the high quality of these so much that I decided to buy her old maps of the ancient world to complement our history with geography this year and it's been a gorgeous experience to add to our day. We listen to the story of the world while painting a big map of each ancient region with watercolors. What can be more fun? And speaking of fun, I have to say Bookshark offers some fantastic opportunities for bonding. The instructor's guide isn't just about facts, it sparks discussions. We love the open-ended questions. It's been wonderful for meaningful conversations. We loved comparing and contrasting books, finding out more details about other questions that arose, like what's a Gordian knot and what does a pharaoh's tomb look like on the inside. We also had conversations around symbols used in books, the themes, how past reads related to each other or how they continued the history we've been studying. It's been great seeing my son make connections to the history we learned and I am so grateful for these learning moments we get together. I truly feel Bookshark helps my son think critically instead of memorizing facts. If you know us, you know we don't appreciate memorization without understanding and that has been one of my fears for history. But Bookshark is completely different. And now about the language arts. We only added it this year. I was unsure about it considering all the comprehension questions were in the history instructor's guide. But Bookshark didn't disappoint. The instructor's guide is incredibly well put together and the curriculum is top notch. I really love the additional section with grammar and writing information at the back of the IG. This can be used with any other curriculum or as a booklet for review and quick reference. What impressed us most were the writing assignments. We already do writing with IAW and you can find the reviews for IAW linked below. But I feel that Bookshark has more diverse and engaging themes and assignments that complement IAW beautifully. We've written a family treaty, persuasive essays and even journal entries for ancient Egypt. It's been so engaging that it even sparked the creation of my newest printable ancient Egypt writing pack on my website website. You will find the link to it below. We absolutely adore Bookshark for both history and language arts. It's been such an easy to implement curriculum, high quality, flexible, and most importantly, engaging. My son is learning by thinking and by being exposed to great literature, 
and interesting questions that prompt him to dig further. It's everything I wanted from a proper homeschool curriculum. If you love reading and love the idea of a literature-based curriculum, but you don't want to waste time putting one up yourself, Bookshark is an amazing choice and totally worth it. It has it all planned out and laid out for you, unlike other curricula. Bookshark really is all about quality and this shines through their literature choices and well laid out instructor guides to tie all those great books together. Try it out and you won't regret it. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your Bookshark experiences in the comments. Until next time, stay curious.